in a universe full of fractions. We will understand them and not fear them. We will be the master of all fractions. Let's see if you remember what we learned last time. Tell me, what is a fraction? A fraction is a smaller part of something larger. Fantastic! Now let's learn about something called equal parts. If I break this graham cracker into two parts that are the same size, I will have equal parts. One half is for you and one half is for me. We could call this an equal share. When you have more than one fraction and both are one half, we call them halves. You can even have several halves, but we will talk about that later. I'm getting this fraction stuff, so tell me more. I could break the graham cracker into two fractions that are different in size and give you one that is not equal in size, but that would not be a fair way to share. These two parts of the graham cracker are not equal in size, but each is a fraction of the whole graham cracker. I'm getting the fraction stuff now. So if the two fractions are equal in size, they are equal parts or fair share, right? Exactly. If one whole object is split into equal fractions, both fractions are one half of the whole. You can have one half of a graham cracker, one half of a piece of paper, one half of a brick, and even one half of a peppermint. It doesn't matter if the object is large or small. If you split it into equal parts, it is a fraction of the whole. It does not matter how you break it. So if I cut it like this, it will still be one half, right? You got it. What if I break it like this? That would be two parts, but not equal parts. So it wouldn't be one half. The smaller part would be less than one half of the graham cracker. So in order to be one half, there must be two parts exactly the same size. Each part has to be a fair share of I wonder how many ways we can share this graham cracker fairly with even more people. In a universe full of fractions, we will understand them and not fear them. We will be the master of all fractions.